Hello friends, welcome back to Tutorial Race. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about Angular data binding and in that event binding. Event is very important because when you click, when you mouse over, so these kind of events uh, is used always by the user. So we will see that how event binding works in Angular 17. So let's see the practical example. So what I'll do, I'll create one simple button here and here I am putting type button not submit actually uh, in this tutorial I will show you that how after click after any event how any uh, event is fired okay later I will use you might be wondering that why don't I use this because I will show you this uh, with submit uh, feature okay so now button type and then here we will call the function so click here actually we will write here click inside bracket so you can see all the events here click and then after click which function should call so call me there is a function which we will call and inside this we will pass dollar event now we have to create a function this function inside our model so click here and then void inside this uh, dollar event dollar event and data type will be any and let's let's remove those word what is that is not required actually data type we are passing here inside any okay so here just we will write console console dot log and then inside that we will write you clicked me so now check here and yes here you need to write sorry yeah. click me okay so now when you click this button then you can see you click me that is what 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 the event is getting fired right when you click then it is displaying clicked me that means what that this click event is working so remember always the event is written inside this bracket okay click and uh, double click mouse over whatever kind of event you want to generate you can write inside this so normally there is click and after that you will call this function and then event dollar event so how this works because without this if i just remove this and also from here then there is no problem still it will show you click me so why event dot target what is the use of that let me show you dollar event if you pass here then you can get the value of this so how just this is dollar event now uh, console dot log console dot log and then dollar event dot target dot event dot target okay now see what shows here click so now it is seeing the target that means what what view clicked so you have clicked the button so it displays you the whole thing the whole button right here so you understand now target event or target that means what you have clicked you have clicked a button so it is displaying the complete information now if you want to display the value its value in that case you need to write here value and now refresh and just click this and you will see good so what is this because we are getting the value of that target means that button 
so we have written here value so that is why this value is fetching from there now you understand that how this e event works actually the data is passing through these okay and getting this value if you simply write here without value then it is displaying that what we have clicked we have clicked a button that is why it was displaying the whole button but normally we take the value that is why it is displaying now the button the value of the button so guys that's it in data binding and in the next video i will show you two way data binding so how that works stay connected and see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye